Right. Again, I'd just like to thank you all um, for supporting the TVS. Um, we know we are one of many organisations, but you have chosen well in supporting our conference this after, this, over the last two days. Because TVS is the founding um, organisation in the UK for preserving skin integrity and wound care. It's steeped in a 40-year history of expertise um, and we have some of those experts mostly in this room, like Professor Dan Bader, Professor Carrie Bedili, Professor Jane Nixon, Alison Hopkins. These are all people, and Dr. Una Adderley, all people that have come from the Tissue Viability Society and are associated with it. Without the TVS, there would be no UMA, no PUAP, I do believe. They all began with the roots of the Tissue Viability Society, and we wouldn't have those organisations today if we didn't have the TVS. So by coming to our conference, you have chosen well. If you are a delegate, an exhibitor, a corporate sponsor, you've chosen well because you are, we are steeped in expertise and history, and it will take a long time for that to go away. So, my concluding remarks. We do aim to be the voice of wound care, and it's important to cl clarify and to e emphasize that we are a charity. We are a charity, we don't make a profit for our own. We are a charity, we're a registered charity, and when you're choosing a conference or choosing an educational program, you might want to see the source of that educational program. We have very exciting years ahead. As a Tissue Viability Society and as practitioners, clinicians, exhibitors, companies, we're working together to make people with and at risk of wounds matter. It's the people that we care for every day that matter um, and not necessarily ourselves. And it's at national and local levels that this really matters as well. And the Tissue Viability works society works at national and local levels through yourselves, our members. We've come up with a new strap line, or working on a new strap line, um, together valuing and supporting. So the Tissue Viability Society works together, it does value everybody in this room and our members, and we do support everybody from every different level. Because it's, it's from the novice to the expert that we develop. We've got REN, and we have Legs Matter, and we have students present here, researchers, scientists. It's all these people that Tissue Viability Society support. The Tissue Viability Society, our charity, from the generous donations from your membership and from the exhibitors, managed to raise money to provide grants to implement the Legs Matter campaign. If it wasn't for the Tissue Viability Society, we put forward the most the high, highest percentage of money to grant, uh, of a, in, a, in, a, in a form of a grant to f help finance the funding of, of um, Legs Matter. Tissue Viability Society also provided a grant to form REN Network and all the magnificent work that that's doing and how that's expanding and what's it doing for wound care and for the UK national agenda. We have a quality tissue viability journal, which has a very high impact fi factor, which influences the scientific and research world and is a highly valuable source of information in this country. And it's something the Tissue Viability Society and Professor Dan Bader should be very proud of. And the high, I do believe the impact vector over the years is increasing. It's getting better. We are revamping our study days and education. We are looking at the marketing and how we can improve delivery across Scotland to, to include Scotland, Northern Ireland, England, and if we can improve upon that. But what we really need is everybody in this room and, and out of it, <laughs> um, the exhibitors, our companies, our corporate sponsors, our members, to come forward and to help us. Because without you, our donors, we wouldn't be able to do anything. So we do really need everybody on board. 
we need to get all our members involved. We have a web page. You can come and give your suggestions. You've been talking to the trustees over the last couple of days. It's given you a great opportunity to do this. And as I say, we, we are, the Tissue Viability Society, range from novices to experts and to lead global leaders as well. We're looking at our strategy and we're, we are focusing on a strategy for the next year to get us to Yuma and so that we can come back and have another conference for you in Yuma, with Yuma in 2020. We do value our corporate sponsors and our partners in industry. And we also have a T TVS social media. We're hoping to have a more of a social media um, footage and to have a communication for us so we can communicate with our members and you can, might be able to give us some feedback on that if you like. But we do value your skills, expertise and help as well. So it's onwards and upwards and being together we are stronger. And if we can all unite behind the Tissue Viability Society, we can help a whole lot more people. So there are a few shout outs, as they like to say nowadays. <laughs> to our outgoing chair, Ray Samaria, I'd just like to thank what a lot of hard work he's done over the past year. And it's been fantastic. And he's worked so hard and given so much free time to the Tissue Viability Society. So I'd just like to say thank you again to Ray. I'd also. I know. <laughs> smile, smile again, Ray. <laughs> but, and also to our corporate sponsors. Without them, we wouldn't have a conference and we wouldn't be able to function. So I do like to appreciate the role of our corporate sponsors. So I'd like to, a round of applause for them as well. And all our exhibitors, if we hadn't had the stands and everything, then we wouldn't also have this conference ice also. So well done to all the exhibitors. You've all been marvellous. And it's been a lovely conference. And I think it's such a buzz in the exhibition hall as well. So thank you again. I'd also like to thank Pink, who are behind the scenes and have run all this, do all our marketing and work so hard. And it must be such a headache. I know what... I know we pay for them, and I know they do well, but they've done such a great job in getting this conference on its feet. Without them, we wouldn't have this at all either. So give them a round of applause as well. <laughs> I'd also, some behind the scenes that you probably never heard of is Charlotte, and Charlotte's our administration and also works very hard as well. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Charlotte's not here, but she'll be fine. Our trustees. Our trustees give their time. In fact, it was only an exhibitor asked me, are you employed by the TVS? They say, no, we're not employed. We're all volunteers. We all, we're all clinicians and, and academics and scientists and all sorts. And we all do this on top of our day jobs, on top of our full-time employment. All the trustees give their time to run this Tissue Viability Society. And it is a big commitment. And it isn't, it's, it's hard now, especially as our, t our time is in more demand but they do turn up to meetings and we do get things done and they are a great asset to the Tissue of Arbery Society. So I'd like to thank the trustees who do a fantastic job. <laughs> we also have a photographer that's going around, so hopefully get up-to-date pictures soon. And to our delegates and speakers, again, without you, there wouldn't be a conference. And I do like to thank you all for coming, especially the people from the Southwest who's made this, um, made this journey to us and we made it more local for you to attend. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yuma, as I say, in May 2020, our next conference will be with Yuma. And that will be at the Excel in London. And that's something to be really excited about. And we're really looking forward to that. So I just wish that you have a safe journey and you keep calm and see you next year. But that was... Hmm. There was another slide. So thank you very much. And we'll see you at Yuma next year. <laughs>